Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and today I'm actually waiting for my suspension and I'm waiting for some wheels for the 435. Pretty stoked on that. Got some maintenance right here. Got the rest of the maintenance of the garage. Let's head down to the garage and get some maintenance done. Before we get to the shop, let's go ahead and just pick up some stuff. So let's just stop by Harbor Freight and BMW real quick. Bogging really hard. This is not the 435. This is the 128 with only 44,000 miles. Yeah, it's bogging so bad. Let's go ahead and pull over as soon as we get a chance here and check it out. Obvious and see the needle. It's in park. The car is in park and it's like bogging. All right, guys, just running a quick little diagnostic. Luckily, I have Carly on me. Let's go ahead and figure out what this thing is. I bet y'all $100 it's spark plugs. I hope to God. Ooh, shout out to Nicholas. Shout out to you, my guy, for supporting the channel. All right, guys, limp this car all the way here. Pretty much didn't give me any more issues. I went ahead and cleared the code, so now we are finally at the garage. Just go ahead and fix the 435, and then we'll go ahead and fix the 128. Hopefully, we can fix them both today. That's the goal of today's video. Guys, welcome. So here is the garage. Thank goodness I have it all to myself. So shout out to everyone for not being here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I mean, it is super nice to have the whole garage, mainly because I have both my cars I need to be working on today, and uh, I don't want to move it in and out and get the car warm. I want it to be as cold as possible when I start working on it. So yeah. That turns out to probably be some spark plugs. I have two spark plugs. I'm probably gonna replace cylinder one and cylinder two. At least I know the two front ones have been replaced with some Bosque spark plugs. And for this, we have a whole kit. So this is what we have, guys. Check out all this maintenance is getting done, which is super sick. So these are all OEM. So I went ahead and just got the OEM fuel injectors. And uh, these ones have 40,000 miles on them, which I'm super happy about. This car has over 150,000 miles. So ha having fuel injectors with 110,000 miles less is probably gonna be a whole lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace them all, even though my fifth is the only one that's messed up. If you guys look on each one, there is a uh, gasket on here, a metal gasket and then a rubber gasket. So we went ahead and went to BMW it picked up some uh, rubber gaskets picked up six of those and some metal gaskets these all these gaskets right here these six right here are $80 dollars over here these are about 25 nothing too crazy so yeah we're gonna be swapping out all the gaskets on all of these guys we also got some ngk spark plugs which i've heard is probably one of the best spark plugs you can get so we picked up a set of six of these and that comes with the gap tool the spark plug socket and this is their spark plug feeler gauge so we have this we have that we have all the tools we need it turns out we're probably gonna end up needing this gap tool with ngk spark plugs we're gonna have to gap spark plugs accurately down to 0.02 too, so we're gonna have to do that properly. I'll show you guys how you do that. So yeah, we got all the spark plugs We got all the fuel injectors, but I also went ahead picked up some gloves These are some mechanic gloves and some other gloves because I'm probably gonna need this A lot of you guys have been telling me to stop working with my hands So bam, I got some brand new gloves and I got some uh, one one-time use gloves as well And these are the two spark plugs I have for the 128 thankfully But anyways, you have everything here Let me go ahead and figure out the right spec to gap all these spark plugs and let's get right to work All right guys, so this is the filler tool that comes with the kit. You're definitely gonna be needing this So you guys to see this this one's 0 0.02, uh, this one is 0 0.018, 0 0.0222, 0 0.024. We want the 0 0.02, that's what we need. That's the filler gap that we need between the spark plug and the head. So grabbing out one of these new brand, brand new spark plugs, let's go ahead and pop this thing open real quick. We got the spark plug. We're just gonna go ahead and insert it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just loosen this up all the way. We're gonna insert it down here, it just screws in there. And it will actually just keep screwing in. So uh, just get it to where it's kind of halfway. So I'm gonna show you that Show you guys that real quick. About right here is a fair gap. So uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. So what the filler tool basically does, so we're gonna go ahead and put away everything but the, uh, the 0 0.02. So now that the 0 0.02, this is basically testing the gap between the spark and the metal prong above it so you basically put it in there and you can actually put it in there quite easy we don't want any wiggle room so all we got to do is just tighten this so we're gonna go ahead and tighten it just a little bit more let that off of it test it one more time it's pretty close so what i just did there i actually did a little bit too tight so all you got to do is let off this thing entirely and then put your prong in there and just kind of pry it in there and it works just fine so yeah now this is 
very snug fitment, which is what we need. So this spark plug is good to go to be inserted into an N55, which is pretty much all 435. If you guys have a, a, a 328, you don't need to do this procedure. You just leave, you just insert the spark plug as it is. This is only for people who have N55s, not N20s. I would just gonna go ahead and do the same for the rest of these guys. So we went ahead and pretty much already pre-gapped the spark plug, so we are good to go on that. The tools are very convenient. I honestly really recommend you guys buy the kit from them the first time at least. And then the second time, just get the spark plugs. You guys got the tools, just at least the first time. Obviously, if you're gonna keep if you're gonna be if you guys are gonna be modifying these cars and keep them long term, the spark plugs are gonna be going out quite frequently. You do not want to keep taking it to the shop. These are quite easy tools to use. It's honestly really easy. And if you mess up, you just you just go ahead and wedge it and it will fit. You just gotta bend it up just a little bit. It works perfectly fine. I've already spoken to Burger Tuning about this, everything is good. So yeah, spark plugs are pre-gapped, ready to go. Let's go ahead and just scan the car for the fuel injectors. We gotta go, go ahead and check if this car needs coating or not. And if it does need coating, we need to go ahead and get all the numbers down. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but every fuel injector has its own number. You need to make sure you write all these numbers down or you take a picture of them sequentially. I'm gonna go ahead and write down all these numbers on my phone and then flip them over and write down all these numbers. I think the rear numbers are the ones that mainly matter. Um, you could just take a picture of them and just make sure you have them in order and uh, you'll be good to go. I think these are the rear numbers that are more, mostly important important here. So I'm gonna go ahead, just take a picture of all these close up, make sure I have all that, and then go ahead and check my computers. If you guys do not have a cable yet to run, uh, to check the systems, these are not the same as N54s, these are actually ethernet, so make sure you pick this up. Keys Motorsports have them, I have a link down below. Let's go ahead and check the systems and get the numbers on all those injectors. So Nick is the fr a friend of mine that goes ahead and remotes controls all the stuff for the coding. So he's gonna go ahead and use IMPA to check all the numbers for the fuel injectors, and then he's gonna go ahead and let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and give them those numbers, match them up, and go ahead and swap them out. By the way, I forgot guys, you're gonna need this tool for the fuel injectors. You have to have this tool, or you could mess up your fuel injectors or even your engine. So make sure you have this tool, it's about 35 bucks. I found this on Amazon. Um, this is the cheapest one I found. I'll have a link down below if you need this as well. So guys, those are my current values right now, the ones that are inside the cylinders. So Nick went ahead and told me that my, he already has the values of all the fuel injectors that are inside the car. So I went ahead and took a picture in this exact order. I'm gonna remove the one that's in the car and replace it with this first one. And then the second one, I'm just gonna put them right on top of each other. And basically, once he, go, once he goes back onto the computer, he can code the, the new one with the old one. So this one would be exactly where one is, this one would be exactly where five is, and that would all be coded properly. This has to be done or your car is not gonna run right. So let's just go ahead and start swapping out our fuel injectors. This bracket sits on top of both injectors, so when you remove this one, just screw those two in, remove the top piece. The fuel injector is uh, already loose, as you guys can see. So how to do that one, you wanna loosen up this bolt completely, so you wanna loosen it up and bring it up, and then you wanna tighten this on the fuel injector all the way, and once this is 100% tightened and this is loose, you wanna loosen up more and more and more, and it's gonna pull this upwards while this is holding on to the injector. So make sure you're loosening this, you're not tightening this bolt. You're supposed to be loosening it. So make sure you loosen it before you do this and then you loosen it some more. No tightening of, you're not supposed to tighten this bolt at all. Here's my one, here is my two. Look at the tips. Oh my God. Yeah, luckily I'm just gonna be replacing all of these. These are, these look pretty bad, I ain't gonna lie. Let's go ahead and do the rest of these real quick. All right, guys, this is how 150,000 mile fuel injectors look like. Dang, this is the one that was misfiring. So actually, if you look at the tip, it actually still has fuel on it, which is crazy. So that one is just leaking. That was just leaking fuel. So that one's completely shot. Might as well just toss this. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take these five and put it right above the other five to get them coated. Yeah, so these are 150,000 miles and these are for, like 40 to 50,000 miles. So you guys can see the tips of these are so much better. It's a good thing we're placing all these are so gunky and just destroyed. This one actually has like garbage all over it. I don't know if you guys can see this one. It just looks so like look at that. That was actually in there. I didn't let's just go ahead and sync these guys. Swap out the gasket, the o-ring, and the gasket with these ones. I feel like this gasket is gonna be an absolute pain. Let's just go ahead and do that and then put them in the car. I tested this out on the old fuel injector. Um, so the gasket, how I removed it, I just used this knife and I just kept on picking at it. And I went kind of hard and honestly didn't damage it at all. So I think a knife is just fine. 
Uh, for this guy, you just need a flathead and it will uh, it will pop this thing out, no problem. So. so these are the new ones. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the gaskets and all the metal gaskets as well. Guys, use a razor blade to cut off the gaskets. It's so much faster. If you guys can tell, I just put on these gaskets. They're an absolute pain. You just gotta keep, like look at my finger. You just gotta keep finessing it till it gets in there. And once it's in there, um, it's a little loose. So what I did is that I went ahead and put some tape, like I tightened it, put the tape on really hard and I just went ahead and wrapped the whole thing. I'm gonna leave this for like 10 minutes and then go ahead and unwrap and it should be as tight as it gets until you put it into the car, but that should be good enough. And then I already put on this gasket, so I'm good to go. All right guys, let's go ahead and install the first two. I think it's time. So I went ahead and just put them in. They're about, they're pretty loose. All you gotta do now is just put the bracket over and when you tighten it, it should push them into place. We're gonna go ahead and use the spark plug socket that came with our kit. Oh my God, I'm happy to say of all the fuel injectors in, all new spark plugs, everything is gapped correctly, everything has new gaskets, everything's good to go. We also have to put the fuel oil back on, we put in all the sensors, the cats and everything. So we are officially good to go. We don't have all that extra stuff on top of there just in case there's something going on back there because our main problem was cylinder five. So hopefully we won't have this issue anymore. Let's go ahead and jump back on the computer. Let's make sure that we swap the fuel injector codes. So the first thing Nick is doing, he's gonna go ahead and first clear the codes to make sure that uh, everything is good to go. And and then go ahead and code the new fuel injectors. I'm over here not trying to waste any time, let's do it. All right guys, I put this all together, hoping that this is all, like it's gonna be fixed no matter what. So let's go ahead and just remove this guy real quick. And uh, hopefully we don't have any fuel leaks, but uh, this will at least allow us to see it. This is the main thing right here. This is where all the fuel goes in. And then we have each individual line, which I've already tightened, but we're gonna make sure uh, we'll come back and check when the car is actually on. This is so nerve wracking. I've never done anything like this before, but Oh my God, fuel injectors are placed, spark plugs are placed. Let's do it, let's do it. Normally when I start, every time I would start this up, the whole car would shake. So, oh my Lord, let's do it. Okay, all right, well that, I mean, it makes sense since there wasn't enough fuel, but it's idling really well right now. Idling kinda high, but it's idling very smooth. The car isn't shaking, okay? It hasn't even thrown a check engine light yet. That's so, so far so good. I'm gonna go check the front end and make sure it's no oil, no fuel leaks. Cool, okay, I'm not smelling any fuel. So far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for a little bit and I'm gonna take it out for a test drive real quick. All right, so the, three, the 435 is stinking up the place, but it doesn't smell like fuel whatsoever. So thankfully, so far, does it smell like we have any fuel leaks? I'm gonna go ahead and take it out for a test drive. I'm gonna be driving this thing home today, 45 minutes. So hopefully we have no issues. I'm super hyped. I'm about to start cleaning up the garage. It looks kind of a mess. But oh my God, finally, I cannot believe we did it. That is insane. If I can do it, guys, you guys can do it because this is my first try. I've never done fuel injectors. I've never done any twin turbo stuff. It is a pain. It did take some work. I do need a coding person. So make sure you reach out to some guy who can code. I can't code. I'm pretty much like every other person that has a BMW. I can't do any coding. so. People like Nick, I'll have his contact info down below. Just hit him up on Instagram. And he, he's a busy guy, he goes to school, but when he has time, he will offer his services to you guys. So yeah, I'm really hyped. The car so far is idling pretty well. I don't smell any gas. Let's go ahead and just get in the car and take it out for a test drive. All right, let's lock up shop, head home, see if you have any problems. Ooh, I'm excited, let's go, let's go. Uh, I just got a low tire light. Let me go ahead and check my PSI. So let's go ahead and just put in some air. All right, guys, currently no air is on the dash. Let's head home. Hopefully, we can get home. Guys, I would just like to say we made it home, officially home, and I'm super happy. The drive was abs it was so smooth. Actually, it was way smoother. I feel like the throttle is actually better. I bet you those 
all those fuel injectors were going out. Luckily, I didn't just buy one. I bought the whole set. We got all new gaskets for them. So I'm, I have that peace of mind that every single fuel injector is good to go. I think all of them had about 40,000 miles on them. So they have at least, probably at least another 60,000 miles life on them, which is perfect. We have NGK spark plugs. We calibrated them perfectly. So yeah, now I'm super hyped. The car drives amazing, which means we are ready for some mods. We're gonna be wrapping the car wheels, suspension. I actually have the wheels, the suspension, and the wrap at my house. So yes, upcoming videos, make sure to smash that like button. I was just waiting to get this car back in the road and now it's back. You guys aren't ready. Make sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. If you find it helpful, again, smash that like button. That would mean a lot to me. For everyone that has purchased a decal in the last video, I'm gonna be giving every single person a call this Monday every single person a call that purchases a decal. So if you guys wanna support the channel, purchase a decal down below. I'm gonna individually call every single one of you guys and thank you guys for the support and everything. Make sure you leave your phone numbers. Do not put your email so I can actually call you guys and that would be in the world. I would love to talk to some of you guys. I'd love to meet some of you guys. Just thank you guys for all the support. Check out the hashtag save BMW link down below. And again, shout out to Burger Tuning. But yeah guys, without further ado, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I see you guys in the next one. Peace out boys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be Better not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have words